Yo, what is up everybody? Hopefully y'all are having a good day. Thank you very much for clicking on my channel. I know it's been quite a while since I posted up a vid. I uh, want to throw a shout out real quickly to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thank you very, very much. Click on that like button, man. If you see anything in here that I'm doing wrong or breaking or not going to work out, just please let me know in the comments below. But uh, what we got going on today, if you checked out my previous vid, is number two cylinders dead. I've tried every troubleshooting step and last but not least I think it might be a gasket so I uh, bought this bad boy here to see if it can help me pretty much boil it down what this is gonna do is it's gonna tell me if it's an intake or exhaust valve or if it's the gasket or if it's one of the rings so got this thing at Harbor Freight it's like 30 40 dollars not very expensive got myself a couple of tools got my bucket of bolts here so to get started I need to put this thing at top dead center and just to help me get to it a little bit easier, I'm going to go ahead and remove the fan clutch and the shroud. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for following me. Let's go ahead and get started on this. All right, so here we took off the cold side. Let's see if we can hear some coming out of the intake. Oh, I hear none coming out of the intake. It ain't coming out of the turbo. Wow. Guys, anybody that can hook me up, let me know. Because it is coming out of the top of the valve cover. And it's as tight as can be. Look at that very very low oh so amazing it's gonna rain it was like 98 degrees a couple hours ago i was dying so number one is really really good number four is no bueno let's go to number two and three let's go ahead and crank over this bad boy so we can get these two to top dead all right so we did number one which was really really good we did number four which was no bueno now we got number two and three at top dead center Let's go ahead and, man, look at that. Just within a matter of less than one hour, man. It's like Hurricane freaking Sylvia here. All right. And now I'm not going to be able to hear any leaks with this freaking wind. Hopefully the freaking hood don't come down on my head. All right, here we go. Let's finish this up because something tells me the weather is not going to be friendly. All right, go ahead and lock it there. The hill. All right, here we go. Number two. Yup. Same thing as number four. And the same thing. It seems to be coming out of the top here. What on earth is going on? Why is it doing that? Let's see over here in the intake side. Not coming out of there it's not coming out of the exhaust no bubbles in the rad it's coming out of the top right here damn it's crazy at my dad's wrench so let's try number three I'm gonna have to finish up here man before freaking Rain's real crazy. I smell it. Feels all fresh and everything. Alright, that's as tight as it's gonna go. Alright, let's hook up this here. All right, here we go. Man, what the hell? This one is good. So number one and three are good. Number two and four, not good. All right, YouTube, I'm going to ask for your help at this time, man. If you can go ahead and comment, let me know what you think. I'm clueless, man. I'm going to go ahead and post up the video so y'all can give me some feedback. 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to take apart the head, but before I do, maybe I can catch the problem. Give me some comments. I'd like to do some research also before I start ordering gaskets since it takes a week or so. And uh, we'll see you guys here back soon. Peace. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the video here. Um, basically, I feel like there's a lot that I haven't got done. I did wanna go ahead and take off the valve cover just to see if I can maybe find exactly where it was coming through. But since it looks like it's gonna rain and my dad's ranch is blowing all kinds of dirt and everything, I didn't wanna get a whole bunch of debris underneath the, the head there. Um, and I haven't posted a video in some time, so I'll go ahead and post this video. And then um, starting within the next day or two, um i'll go ahead and remove the valve cover and i'll make another video of that because i want to get this youtube channel going with a little bit more videos so let me know what y'all think on the comments below i'd really appreciate it man just y'all's help shout out to how to fix my bucket of bolts and man try and keep it positive man don't dog me too much